ما علم قد علم and this is wrong the human beings when they put in the diacritical marks made a mistake here we give him the messiah the son of mary the messenger of allah we give him in fact if you and i were there we would also come to the conclusion that he died and you will hear him say, according to his misunderstanding of an ayah in the Quran, Surah number 43, ayah number 61, wa innahu la'imun lisa'a, according to his misunderstanding, where he believes that if you recite it like that, it would mean that Isa alayhi salam has the knowledge of the hour. Then he died. Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh, because that's the only language some people can understand. Don't come with this nonsense. To say that Allah, when I billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that. Nonsense! What a brainwash Ummah we are today. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope today we will have a good time. Please invite your friends and let us share some good knowledge for today. As you see, the, uh, the Muslims themselves, they admit that they are a brainwashed nation, if we can call them a nation. Actually, we have an example of a brainwashed nation, a person, his name is Palestine in the chat. And I saw him posting a verse from chapter 22. And I wonder, did this even this guy did even read that chapter? Because that chapter alone proving to us that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah is an idiot. Uh, as you know, today we'll take calls from the Christians, but uh, just to start with Mr. Palestine. Mr. Palestine is a very smart, intelligent. He worked by copy-paste machine, machine. It's very well-known machine, you know? They don't know even what they are pasting. This is a chapter 22. Let me open it. And then right away he will say to me, no, no, don't, don't, don't show it, don't put it in the screen. I, 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 I was, I was talking about some, 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 something, something else. Well, the God you are asking us to worship, He do not even know how the baby is made. Is it? This is your stupid Quran. <clears throat> Look at the stupid Quran. That because Allah. Well, that, who is talking Allah? Allah is saying that because Allah. Uh, the hour is sure, coming for sure, and then is it the same Allah who says the moon, the, the, the moon is split and the judgment day is near and nothing happened? And then among them is the one who dispute about Allah without knowledge. You Muslim even know who is Allah? You have no idea who is he. If I ask any Muslim now who is Allah, they don't know. All what they know is the unseen, he is amazing. How do you know he's amazing? He's unseen. Okay. Did he even talk to Muhammad? No. Did he do any miracle? Yes. He gave uh, Jesus. But, but, but uh, I can claim that I gave those to Jesus. What is the proof that Allah he gave anything to Jesus? And then we continue and we will see how stupid this, this, uh, this uh, chapter. It says here, He called beside Allah into which hurt not him, none benefit him. Well, Muhammad died by poison and Allah did not benefit Muhammad. A blind man came to Jesus. He benefited him. He made him see. The one who cannot walk, Jesus made him walk. The one who, who is dead, Jesus made him alive. And this is, we do not even need to discuss it. Can Allah do what Jesus do? So you are the one who worship a pagan God who cannot benefit anyone. He cannot hurt anyone. You know, if you remember, uh, if you remember Mimi Hijab, when he have an interview with this guy with his name, Peterson, you know, people, they, they think of him as a big shot. I'm not sure why. Uh, he called for him a verse from the Quran, the author of the Quran claim, if you recite this Quran, in the front of a mountain, the mountain will bow down to Allah, will believe right away. 
So maybe hijab, he decided to practice what he learned from, you know, from, uh, from the Quran. So during the interview, suddenly he said to him, uh, he started reciting and singing, and the guy is watching, like, what the heck is that? Uh, and then after he finished, uh, he asked him, why, uh, why you did sing this, what you did? And then uh, Mimi Hijab, he said to him, will we believe that the Quran have a special impact on people when they hear it? Uh, uh, and the Muslims, they made a video in Arabic, says, uh, better son crying when he heard the Quran. The, the guy, he was wondering, what the heck is that? Where is the crying? Islam is based on deception. deception. And actually, this is a proof <clears throat> that the one who made the Quran is a, is a fraud. Because here we go, we are reading the Quran and we are dying laughing. And actually, Muhammad, he was reading Quran to the Arab in front of him, and they are read Arab, and they we are laughing at the Quran. So how the Quran, if we send it down in a mountain, this mountain will bow down because of his belief. Now, if we go to chapter 22, the one you mentioned, you know, we will die a lot more, especially when your God, Allah, he speak about how he made the baby. Is that your Quran? Hmm? And look at this verse here. I mean, I'm just going through. It's, it's, it is, it's, the Arabic is bad, horrible. It's not even like sixth grade Arabic. And here he is saying that Ladina Amanu, Ladina Hadu, or Sabi'in, or Nasara, or Majus. The Majus, according to Islam, all of them they believe in Allah. So the Sabian, they worship stars. The Majus, they worship fire. <laughs> if you go to the different verse in the Quran, you will see the funny Muhammad, he is saying the following. Just laugh, laugh at the genius, the one who wrote the stupid. He doesn't even remember what he wrote, obviously. Isn't it you who promised them to go to heaven anyway? This is chapter 2, verse number 62. Those who believe, Okay, and those who they are Jews, okay, and those who they are Christian, okay, and those who they are Sabian, and anyone who believe in Allah, they will go to heaven. So, what the heck? So, what this verse is about then? How Allah will judge between them? Stupidity is amazing. I thought all of them are going to heaven. And then here it says, See not that Allah. Uh, to Allah prostrate whoever in the heavens and the, whoever in the earth. No, we did not see. I mean, how stupid is that? Where, where we saw that? Now, didn't you see? No, we did not. I mean, do you see the stupidity? Imagine you are in front of a judge and you say to the judge, didn't you, didn't you see the guy was shooting? The judge, he says, no, I did not see. I wasn't there. Oh, no, it says in the book, didn't you see? So this is a book written by a mentally ill person. Like, did you, didn't you say? No, we did not. Who of you Muslims he saw that everything in the universe protested to Allah? Tell me, there's the only one protested to Allah is you, because you are pagan. Everything, no, so what about the Christians? What about the Jews? What about the Hindus? What about the Buddhas? When the last time you saw a chicken protesting to Allah? So would you pause for me this chapter? By the way, he's dead. He's not even moving in there. In the ch Those are heroes. As long as I am not here, the second day I show up, they disappear. They play dead. You know. Shall we continue? I mean, what the heck is that? And then you continue. It says, uh, just to show you how stupid the one who read the Quran again. The Quran says that the one who worship Allah is Hanif, but the one who speak Aramaic, he knew that Hanif is a pagan. So how Allah, he claimed that he is knowledgeable in the languages, and he used a word, like you see the Muslim, they say to you, Ibrahim was Hanif, you idiot, that means he was a pagan. Oh, he's a Hanif. <laughs> And 
And then he says, and we made for every nation, we have appointed religious ceremonies. That is stupid again. This is mean that the Muslim, they don't have one ceremony. Every nation should have different. So why are you asking them all to go to the Kaaba? I mean, do you see the stupidity? We are just going through like easy study. If we can't go to study, because there's nothing to study there. It's just a, it's just a mule talking. And then uh, Allah here, he says that when you do sacrifice, Allah will not get its hair, nor he will get a, a, its a meat, you idiot. Isn't it you the one who says to the Jews, and you are the one who asked Abraham to sacrifice, and then you send the fire from the sky and consume it? What this guy is talking about? If you are not the one who will get the meat, and you never get the hair of it, so what is the fire story about fire coming from the sky? And Muhammad copying the Jews, and now he, he, you know, he regret? <laughs> Shall we continue? I mean, this is a stupid. And then he talk about how, uh, you know, how the baby is created. How the baby is created. And look at this verse here. Never we send a messenger or a prophet before you, but he recited revelation from shaitan. What the heck? And this is the verses you want to show us to prove to us that Allah is God? So how he is a prophet of God, and now he is a prophet of shaitan? <laughs> See, this is all in one chapter. We are not even, this is the one he chose. We are just going through. So you notice here. Uh, yeah, enjoy the verse. Enjoy the verse. Yeah, do you see the enjoy the verse? Enjoy it. Your prophet was a satanic messenger. He received satanic verses. Do you see it? And Allah will abolish which shaitan he throw in. Now, I challenge you to prove to me that this verse itself is not from shaitan. As long as shaitan, he can throw verses in the mouth of Muhammad. Well, this verse, I believe, is from Shaitan too, and uh, you know, and, and Muhammad admitted that he is satanic, you know, satanic uh, prophet. <coughs> you see it? As long as Shaitan is able to throw, and Muhammad he conf confirmed that it's already happened, and then he says, "Don't worry, be happy. Allah will take it away." Okay, how we know that this verse is not from Shaitan? Secondly, where was Allah? I mean, why you wait until the guy he got uh, monkey box, and then you try to do this and aren't you Allah? How shaitan can even control Muhammad? Isn't it the Quran promised Muhammad that shaitan have no upper, no power over my good servants? Do you see the stupidity? The Quran says clearly that Allah, he told shaitan, you have no power over my good servants. So, okay, he have no power over the good servant. How you have a power over Muhammad, chapter 15, verse number 42. Are you there, Mr. Palestine? And not to forget that even your name is Palestine, never mentioned in the Quran, and Allah promised the Jews to give them the land, and he asked them to kill every Palestinian. And by the way, you are not a Palestinian. I think you are a Pakistani. And even those who live in the so-called Palestine, the Arab, are not Palestinian. Those Arab, they don't even speak the language. So it's just a mess and a stupidity and you know, and they play victim and they, they, they try to make you believe that we have one God. You have nothing. You don't even have testicles. Who is your God? You don't know. What is your God? You don't know. They laugh at the Christian for God. Their God is a man. Okay, wonderful. And then we find that their God is an octopus. He have a shin. He has two hands and both hands in the right side. What happened? It's a birth defect. He have a mouth. He have a tongue. He have two eyes. He have a face. He have a back. <clears throat> and look at the. No, he changed. He changed the course, hoping that we can let it go. So he go to different verse in the Quran, chapter twenty six, and he speak about the jinn. Look what he just said. By the way, my Skype is open soon when we start taking call from the Christians. It was not the jinn who brought down, brought down this Quran. It is neither in their interest nor in their power. Indeed, they are prevented from overhearing it. 
Like just a stupidity. So why you have a chapter in the Quran is called the chapter of the genie and everybody, all the chapter is made by the genie. I mean, who is the stupid here? So the genie did not make the Quran. And then we find the chapter is called the chapter of the genie. Who is talking in the chapter? The genie. That's mean they are the one who made the Quran. So how the Quran says they heard the Quran and they says how the Quran and Ajaba. I mean, do you see the stupidity? They were amazing. <laughs> or they were amazed. <laughs> Why you don't call me Palestine so we have, you can have a good comedy? <laughs> so the genie, they cannot hear the Quran. Uh, and then the genie, they say, this is amazing Quran. <laughs> you know, the, uh, I find I find that when the Mohammedan they try uh, to present their case to you, try to make it appeal, the more they talk about it, the more we die laughing, and the more it is hilarious, and the more it's stupid. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, if we, uh, I don't know what to say really. I mean, how how stupid things can can it is? So look, if I go right now and I search this, remember, let me put for you what he said. It's not for the genie even to hear the Quran. Read carefully. This is what he quote. I'm not translating. It was not for uh, not the jinn who brought down the Quran. It is neither their neither in their interest nor in their power. Indeed, they are not uh, uh, they are prevented from overhearing it. Overhearing it. <laughs> Let us go to the Quran and see what the Quran says. And now he will cry, he will say, I did not mean that, CP. Yeah, here we go. Say, okay, say, uh, who is talking? Allah, supposedly. Okay. Uh, a group of the GD, they heard the Quran. Okay. And they start talking. The, the genie made the Quran. The whole chapter is the genie talking. This is why it's called the chapter of the genie. So the genies, and by the way, Muhammad, he is speaking about the genie. It's about a bunch of black people. They start writing Muhammad. And Muhammad later claimed that those genies were amazed. There's a story where uh, uh, a bunch of a black uh, African, uh, they saw Muhammad and his companion, and they start jumping over his shoulders and making him like a donkey. And I challenge any Muslim to say you are lying. And they keep riding him, and we do not know what does that mean exactly. You just ride him in the top of him or doing something sexual, we don't know. And then, after riding him all day, Muhammad was so tired. All day they were riding the guy. Where was Allah? Are you there, Palestine? Hmm? Who when a Muslim want to say to me I'm lying? Anyway, our Skype is open. If you are a Christian interested to call, and you see, you can, we, you know, we have a, a question: Why you think Islam is not from God? You can give your thought or anything you want to say. Uh, just to stay, you know, like uh, in in the borders of our topics, which we usually we mention. So if you are a Christian, here we go. Many people, they say, how come Christian cannot call? Uh, right now, my Skype open. I don't see even any Christian text to me. And later, they will say, how come we cannot call? Look at this chapter here. Uh, it gives guidance to the right. And we have believed therein. Okay. Who is talking? The genie. Okay. And the exalted is his majesty of, of our Lord. He has uh, uh, taken neither a wife or a son. How the genie knew? 
You see, if Allah is saying that, I will say, okay, Allah is saying that. How the genie they knew? They are watching him by security camera if he is sleeping around. Huh? And then the genie, brother, they tried to go to the heaven, but they could not uh, go because there is a lot of security. <laughs> This is God talking? <laughs> the genie, they tried to go to the sky so they can hear what Allah is saying. And they found there is a lot of security, brother. Hmm? And then we go in different verse in the Quran. It says, uh, you know, very funny cartoonic fiction story. That if the shaitan and the genie, shaitan is a genie, by the way. And some Christian until now, they think that Muslim, they believe in demon. In Islam, there's no demon. So when we speak, we say genie, don't think we are talking about demon. Uh, the Quran in the different verse says that the shaitan brother tried to steal information from Allah. This is God talking. Shaitan, he tried to, to hear, spy at Allah. And what is the solution? Well, if he tried to steal information from Allah, Allah will shoot him with meteor. So, what is the meteor? Is the meteor Allah security? Is the missile of uh, uh, Mister the filthy Putin, and he shoot anyone who get close to his base. And you are talking about Star War. Here we go. Star War is already happening a long time ago. Uh, all right, we have a Christian when I call. Let us see. We will call you. As you see, Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. Make no sense in every way, every mean. Hello? Uh, hello, you are welcome. Okay, um, um, my name is Rosa, and I was um, I'm, I'm watching the live stream, and I wanted to give my reasons. All right. To the question that you mentioned, so I have a number of reasons, but then the main one is the fact that this God got um our faith wrong, saying that Miriam uh, or Mary is part of the Trinity, which I don't understand. How could that be? And the worst part being that he waited 600 years after the death of Christ to then tell us Christians that we got it all wrong. Yeah. And um, knowing that we are 2 billion plus people and we are all destined for hell, I don't think a God who is all-knowing, all-wise, all-powerful would just create to destroy and to, to, to bring anguish and pain onto people. 2 billion plus. That, that does not make sense. Yeah, well, here, actually, uh, this is a very important point. Uh, when Allah, he claimed that he is God, and then he did not know even uh, the faith of the Christians, which is very simple. I mean, you do not need yeah. to be, it's a, I mean, how in the world Mary, she became uh, the wife of God, and then <laughs> Jesus is his baby son. That is the most stupid <laughs> idea. Even, ch even children, they know that the Christian don't believe in that, that God, he yeah. have a wife, her name is Mary. And uh, yeah. even the stupid Quran says that Mary is a virgin. Yeah, right? exactly. So, yeah, exactly. so how Mary she become the God? Where, who is the one who worship Mary? Some foolish people okay. they will say to you the Catholic. That's a lie. The Catholic they ask okay. Mary. They ask Mary to pray for them. They don't pray to Mary. Yes. They don't worship because Mary. She's a saint. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, all, all Christians, all Christians with no exception. And let us say for the sake of argument, a Muslim he might say to you, well there is uh, some group one day. Well, uh, what's, but Muhammad he claimed all the Christian they do that. He didn't yeah, have other, exactly. he don't have other option. He says the Christians, mm -hmm. they believe in that. Yeah, which is so false, absolutely. And, and false. then when he tried to refute the idea, he says, uh, uh, if Allah want to take a wife or a son, he will take from ourselves. 
from yourself. <laughs> and then how, how, how you claim that you are the God who the only one, there's no one like you. And then you say, I will take yeah. a partner from us. The us mean we are similar. You know, when I say yeah. the word us, like English is my, my, my first language, as you know, but Arabic is my first language, you know? So it's, yeah. it's very clear, yeah. you know, he want to take it from us. Okay, us who? Aren't you the only one? Is that, yeah, there's exactly. other gods? Yes, exactly. There isn't any. So why are you comparing yourself? Who are you going to take partnership with? And Allah obviously is a stupid God. He don't, you know, he don't understand. Yeah. Uh, imagine I go now and I say that the Muslim, they believe in the Trinity. Well, that's mean I do not yeah. know what Islam is about. This is exactly, exactly, you know, what Muhammad did. He claimed that Allah, he understood the Trinity. And then right away he starts saying, well, Jesus, Mary, uh, and Allah. Uh, and not only that, actually, there is a verse in the Quran. Uh, it says that the one who says uh, the Messiah is a son is Allah. The Messiah is Allah. Well, if you understand the Trinity, how the Christian they say that the Messiah is Allah. So who is the second person? Because now we have to yeah. eliminate, we have to eliminate two names, yeah. Allah and yeah. the Messiah, because they became one. Yeah, they became so one. If, if the Messiah is Allah, and that's what the Christian believe, so who is the second person and who is the third person? <laughs> Maybe we have to add Musa. Yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. right, all right, my, my sister. Thank you for calling. Anything else? Thank you. No, I. the small thing I would like to add is just that, um, and basically using your show and all the information that you put for all of us Christians to um, have the courage to talk to my Muslim friend also one day because... Well, I have a correction for you. You should not say my Muslim friends because Muslims don't take uh, friends, correct? Ah, uh, yes, that is true. And her name yeah. is Takia, by the way. Her name is Takia. That even make it more horrible, you know? I mean, the, she is my Muslim friend and her name is Takia. That that can be a good movie. You know, we can change the title. I mean, how in the world do you get a person to have such a name? Her name is Takia, yeah. guys. Here, she has a friend. She is a Muslim friend. Her name is Taqiyah. Good luck. It's Adam. Like, good it's, it's good so luck bad. with your friendship, you know. <laughs> no, I'm really hoping to talk to her. Yeah, it's, it's painful when I when I see them and I talk. Sometimes I feel pain and then the, at the other part, I'm just like, no, um, it, it's not worth it's not worth it dealing with people who mock our faith. They are the ones who are lost. But at the same time, it's it's good that I watch your show and I see how you give them tough love. Because they need to get the spanking before they get the veil of their face. And that, that's what I appreciate. So well, we are trying to help them. You know, here we are not really, the purpose is not the spanking. But sometimes, if you, even if you have a son, he's taking drugs, what do you do? You tell him it's okay, yeah. you know, I love you, do whatever you want. No, no you scream time. in his face, you shout in him so he can wake up. Uh, you know, yeah. that the drugs is killing you, is destroying you. And this is the same as Muhammad is a drug. Yeah. promising sex and women and etc all of all of this zucchini doesn't doesn't work muslims if he you know i challenge you actually to prove to me that is it muhammad he said that uh, when they when they said to him he said uh, uh, pray for me every friday pray on me every friday for your prayer will be supplicated to me they said to him prophet but your body will be decayed he said yeah. oh we are the the people of the prophet like the kind of the prophet Mm -hmm. Our body will never decay. And then after a few days, the guy he stink. <laughs> he was stinking, and then and, and, very and then and then fourth and fourth was coming nonstop as if he ate beans. Actually, I think Muhammad was American. You know, <laughs> when I came to America, the first thing I noticed that American they fought a lot, and I was wondering why. And then I discovered <laughs> because of beans. So Mr. Beans, Bean yeah. Muhammad. He was farting nonstop and he claimed that we are the messenger of Allah, you know, we don't, our body will not decay. So keep him in the top of the floor. Go Muslim, dig the grave, put him in the top, let everybody see the miracle. 1,400 years, Muhammad will be the same as the same day he died. That's what he claimed, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, say hello yeah. to your, uh, say hello to your friend Taqiyya, sister. <laughs> <laughs> one day is one day. Thank okay. you Okay. So all right. All right. Bye. Take care. Take mm -hmm. care. God bless you. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, we have a Muslim saying, Jesus is not God and you worship Mary Kafirs. Well, you have to prove it. You're an idiot. 
Same time, I say to you, Muhammad is not, uh, Allah is not God, and your God is Muhammad. Let me call this Abdul, just for like entertainment purpose. And by the way, I'm expecting Ultimate Far to try to call as much as he can to retain his honor, which is scattered all over the floor. Let us see, we are calling the Abdul. Hello? So guys, didn't I tell you this is Ultimate Fart? Here we go. Hey, Ultimate Fart, how are you? I'm good. Are okay, you? what is the name of your prophet wife? No, first the thing we do... Hey, get lost. Don't call me ever again. We are done with you. You became an abused, used diver. Old news. People are laughing at you, and we do not need to laugh more. Have mercy. You see, because they lose... They gay, you know, like they try to call and a call and a call. Maybe this time I will make it. Maybe this time I will survive. <laughs> Filthy mouth. Uh, what is the name of your prophet wife Aisha? Where do you get this information from? Uh, from the books of uh, history. <laughs> Okay, Muhammad, you have a son. The only case in history, uh, it says Muhammad have only one case in history. He have a adopted son. Where is that? This is in the Hadith. So that coward, the liar, he keeps saying we don't believe in the Hadith, etc. And last time we have him busted with no mercy. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends so you can have a good laugh. At the, you know, I'm going to change your name from Ultimate Far to UFO. Like your God. <laughs> All right. Who is next? Um... All right. Someone else. Yeah, you know, when you go and do gambling and you lose badly, so what do you do? You go borrow more money and you try to play again. And this is what happened with this poor Abdul, you know? He lost badly and he tried to retain his lost honor. Hello? Good morning. Good evening, good morning, my friend. You are welcome. Yeah, I, are you, a, are you a Christian or a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Christian. Okay, what do you want to say to us? Yeah, you actually, I want, first of all, I want to like appreciate you for um, the things that you do and there's so much knowledge that we get from your education and um, actually each time you come online I actually have my notebook with me just to get information and I started listening to you because of what a particular friend because I went to a Muslim school at a tender age in Nigeria mm -hmm. and um, actually we had to read Surah al fatiha every Friday. So I actually learned those things with no knowledge. I was a Christian. I was born in a Christian home and we got all those information because of the Muslim um, college that we attended. We didn't know that this religion is like um, a fake religion, you know, yeah. and all of that. And then as I continue to grow up, the challenge started coming, you know, like you hear some of them saying, um, all kind of things about the Christian faith, you know, and the only way you have to know the original is when you have the original and then you study the original, then if the fake comes, then you have to, you, you, there's a way you can dis distinguish between the original from the fake. The Bible is the true and correct word of God and everything that the Quran says contradicts what the Bible says. So, I tried searching on how to learn about Islam. Then I got David Wood. I listened to David Wood, most of his video. And then, you know, the algorithm actually directs. And that's how I got to know about, about you and also Rob Christen. So it's um, a wealth of information that we receive from these. The truth is Islam is false and Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad is a fake prophet. Well, even the stupid Quran confirmed that our book is never changed. This is how silly they are. You say, they say, all Muslims, they say to you, Guru, the Bible is a change, Bible is a change. We open the Bible, the Quran, it says chapter two, the chapter of the cow, the Hindu chapter. And when they come to them, to the Jews, uh, the book, the Quran, this is a Muslim translation, inserting the Quran, from Allah confirming what is with them. 
okay so how it's corrupted you know yeah same for the for the the gospel uh yeah and then uh, uh i mean this is all over the Quran, like two chapter two verse number 91 we can show you in this uh, chapters and verses and yeah. And then they come to you with Paul. Well, if we go to chapter 36, verse number 14, and read the interpretation, we will find that Paul is a messenger of Allah. So yeah. Muhammad simply, he was trying to hijack Christianity, the same he hijacked Judaism, the same he hijacked uh, every religion around him, Sabi and anything, just he want to be international uh, corporation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, From my friends, say, say hello to your, uh, to your friends in Nigeria. Uh, we love Africa. We love our brothers and sisters in Christ in Africa, and even we love the Muslims there. We pray that yeah. they will wake up and they will see the truth, and the truth will set them free. Yeah. And you know, not only to forget, how in the world somebody is a black African, he follows such a, a white supremacist religion. Don't yeah. they know that yeah. this is a religion for the, for the white Arab only, not for the black? And they say to you, Bilal, Bilal, Bilal he, he, he lived all his life as a slave, and Muhammad never freed him. And the funniest part of this thing is like, they don't even want to hear. They like they only come to you when you don't really have knowledge of Islam. But once you have the knowledge, they don't come to you. They just keep running away. Exactly. They pray. They, they 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 pray in the uh, in the ignorant. You know. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like a wolf waiting for the little lamb, not the mm -hmm. not for the buffalo. You know the buffalo who's big. He have big horns. The you know the hyena will not attack him. He he know he's no match. You know. But he will go for the little one. He cannot hardly walk. He doesn't know what he's doing. His his eyes is still small. Oh, he's just born yesterday. Yeah. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Thank you very much. Thank you for the information we get, and God bless you. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you. All right. Let us see. Uh, okay. We have somebody want to talk to. Let us see. My internet. So CP. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hey, so I, I wanted to give you uh, <laughs> my top reason why I believe Islam is false. All right. Um, so I um, I started uh, reading the Quran uh, a while ago. I had a friend; she was uh, Muslim, so she started telling me Jesus wasn't crucified and all kind of stuff. So I read her book, and um, I finished the book in like three to six months I just I couldn't put it down and it wasn't because it was so good it's just because of how stupid it was how blasphemous it was against uh what we believe uh as Christians and uh I slowly started to realize when I started debating Muslims that Islam is like the religion of I don't know and what exactly. I mean is like like you ask some questions like okay, well who is Isa or you know Allah Alam or uh, who was uh, on the cross if it wasn't Jesus? I don't know. Uh, it, well, what is Allah? I don't know. You know, like, uh, why does the uh, Quran call Christians uh, people of the book uh, if our book is corrupted? I don't know. Why is Muhammad in the Bible? I don't know. So it's like you, you ask them simple, basic questions, and it's like what the caller said before, anyone with actual knowledge, uh, they run away from, they don't have any answers. I'm glad, my friend, to meet someone smart like you. But let us start with the first one. You remember, like you said, uh, uh, who was in the cross, right? Jesus, he, Allah, he replaced him, right? Right. But this is confirmed our Bible. Right. Because this is what we saw, and that the honest people is the one who write down what they saw. So then, exactly. then, then the idiot Muhammad, 600 years after, he said, uh, 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 uh. That was not Jesus, you know, like, hello, hello, hello. It's like a prank, you know. What the heck is that? This is God or this is a joke, you know. So right. Allah Allah was making a prank. He would someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. But he looked like Jesus, so they thought he's Jesus. But Jesus was not Jesus, but Jesus was on the cross. And his mother, she thought it's Jesus, but it's not Jesus. So Allah, he took the real Jesus, but he delivered over for Jesus. And the Christian, they thought this is Jesus. So it's not Jesus. What the heck is that? So what, we, you want to know? what we learn from this story that Allah is a cheater. Is a liar, right? And he's a kid, but, you know. But you want to know something that's that's really funny. I um so once I started realizing this, uh, I made a TikTok account. I posted one video about Islam because I had studied it for a while, and the video got so many views. And that's when I realized, okay, like this is uh, a lot of Christians don't know anything about Islam, especially here in the West. So I was like, let me make this account so I can kind of educate some people on it, based on a Christian perspective. 
what's so funny about specifically what you're talking about, Sarah 4 verse 157 says uh, it was made to appear that Jesus was crucified, right? Mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. if you keep reading, it says the people who argue or talk about yeah, this sure. have no knowledge. But what's interesting is like if you look at the Islamic sources, like uh, you look at um, uh, any like tafsir about it, the Muslims, the Abdul, they have different <laughs> interpretations of what happens. Some exactly. Like, uh, each one of them, uh, he give you. Each one of them, he, he, he give you his, his own cartoon, his own cartoon, <laughs> his own version of the cartoon. <laughs> it's like I was, I was, uh, I did a, a live stream on it the other day. Um, I think it was ill. I think it was uh, Ibn Kathir. He says he doesn't know, but then if you go to Tafsir Al Tabari, he gives like eight different uh, uh, people that it may have been. Then if you go to like, uh, I think it was. Um, uh, who's the cousin of um, of, of Muhammad? It's on altafsir.com. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Abbas, Abbas, the uncle but, and the uh, cousin. Yeah. Tafsir, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Abbas, yeah. He yeah. says that it was some some guy named um, Tetlanus or something like that. And then uh, there's a sheikh, um, Imran Hussein. He, he's now saying that he wasn't even crucified. I mean, that he was crucified, but then Allah just gave him back his body, which again confirms what the Bible says. It's like you might as well just become a Christian at this point. This religion is... I don't understand why anybody who has any common sense would be a Muslim. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad that there is Christians like you, my friend. You sound like a smart person. And uh, invite your friends here. So all of uh, all, all of those who they are seeking knowledge, they can increase. Uh, and you yourself, you can learn more and you can fight it. So I hope I encourage you, actually, not just to, you know, like, okay, we we'll learn something. Islam is funny. I encourage you to spread the information between your friends, your people, whoever you are, wherever you live, and TikTok, etc. So people, they will see the truth, and the truth really is ugly about this cult. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for what you do. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. I like to see, you know, uh, the Christians, you know, firm. They study. They knew what they are talking about. And they can confront the lies of Muhammad and his genies. <laughs> uh, a Muslim saying Islam is true. I'm afraid this is ultimate fault. He, he will not give up. <laughs> Let us call him. <laughs> okay. Hello? Ultimate? Hello? Hello? Okay, go. Please thank you. Enough. That's it. My, I, I cannot. I cannot keep my hand dirty every day. He was going again. That's it. Because he is. He is. You know. He was horribly, horribly became pieces. He. I know this will happen now. He will keep parking and stop. That's it. I call you. You said record it, post it, and let everybody laugh. Okay, that's what happened. Okay. Potato. Hello? Yeah, please turn off your camera. Oh, sorry. Hi, my name is uh, Stefan, and I'm a Christian um, All right. from Romania. I live in UK, though. All right. And um, I think um, it's funny when Muslims try to go to the Bible to prove something of the Quran a while um, you know, saying it's corrupt. And what's more funny, it's that they say they follow the same God. But if you go in the book of Isaiah, for example, uh, starting from uh, chapter 13 up to 25 or 26, the God of the Bible promised to destroy all Muslim nations like Lebanon, Syria, Egypt, um, you know, Jordan, uh, uh, Iran, Persia. And um, I was wondering, how do, how do they go around it? I mean, um, if you're going to ever ask a Muslim, I'm just curious how he's going yeah, to... Yeah, but, you know, this is, this is another reason. No, you see, uh, we have to be careful here. If God, he promised to destroy nations, uh, you need to remember at that time, those nations are not even Muslims, right? So this is not really a valid argument. The valid argument is, first of all, the God of... Islam is not a spirit. Our God is a spirit. Isn't it God? He says, 
he created the whole you know, earth and uh, his spirit was over, uh, above the water from the beginning, right? So the nature of the God of Islam is not the same nature of our God. The God of yeah, Islam, yeah, but, he have a body. Should, yeah, he have, the yes, he, he's, uh, their God, he have a body, but he don't have a spirit. So that's mean, obviously, their God is not our God. Because this is something the Jews and the Christian agree upon. It's not like Christianity or, you know, this is Jews and Christians agree that God has a spirit. And uh, uh, God, he came to Abraham as a man. The Muslim refused that idea. So their God cannot come as a man. Their God cannot be a man. Their God cannot have a son. Their God don't, don't have a spirit. So what is left about this God? What is left is a piece of concrete. They claim that nothing like him, but who care? He is, if he have no spirit, then he is not alive because the spirit means life. Spirit. The only thing left of their God is a transformer, you know. And it's a transformer. Yeah, like no, he he, he will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew exactly. So how <laughs> how how you refuse that God have a shape because shape, you know, they say that Jesus, he's God. Okay, then how he can be inside his creation if if the flesh is a creation of God. Then how he can be inside? The, well, he is God. This is why God. There's nothing, nothing impossible for him. That's why we call him God. And then we find that their God Himself, He have a shape, and He even He go down between the seventh heaven and the, and the first heaven, and even He change His shape, and the shape is His creation. All right, my friend. Yeah. Yes, and not only that. It's very funny. For example, if you look at uh, the Pact of Umar, uh, in the uh, you know in the Quran, uh, Allah give uh, give to Jews the Israel. Yet uh, Umar, or Uthman itself, goes to conquer the, um, the Jew lands. It's kind of funny, the same. Um, I think everything they do, it's kind of funny. Even the guy uh, with Palestine, you see, uh, they don't say, oh, poor Jews, what we've done to them in seventh century. They never say that. They never uh, consider, for example, let's, um, let's correct our uh, wrongdoing towards the Jews. Yet even today they they do the same thing. Yeah. So well, they, because it's an it's an evil cult, and they they seek a privilege, but they don't give rights. Which means they ask you for a right, human right, when it is for them, but they will not give you the same human right they ask for themselves. So like they go in the West, you will see a Muslim complaining about uh, hate crime, but in his mosque he teach hate <laughs> against the Christians, you know, and violence. <laughs> Yeah. I want to thank God, you know, for people like you, because I've learned a lot. I'm following you for thank you, my friend. Years now. I went to I went to Romania. I think last time I was there, uh, 2019. I saw your video posted from Constanza or somewhere. Yeah, and, yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. And um, um, I've used some of your arguments with the Muslim in Romania on TikTok, for example, when they do live stream, and they block me right away without even answering or anything. They don't even read the question. Yeah, because they got scared, exactly. Well, thank you, my friend, yeah. for calling. God bless you, my friend. Thank you for your work, and keep keep up. Keep thank up you. the good work. For thank the you. Lord. Thank you. I'm God into bless that. you. Bye-bye. All right. <clears throat> We have uh, somebody, let us see. <clears throat> and available, well, the person says, well, now, and then call decline. So why you are saying, you want, why you are calling? Just to say hello? Okay. Uh, let us see this person. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, not called yet. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. How are you? Hello, hello, Christian Prince. I'm a Charlie from. Okay. I want uh, I want to uh, express my uh, great gratitude because I know you and uh, last year I was introduced to your channel and and uh, I used to share the gospel with Chinese, and since I know you, I share the gospel with Muslim in the streets and with my college and with uh, with my friends. And I think uh, I'm so I'm so thankful to the Lord that I can know you, and you you have been my inspiration in the in all of my life. And and also I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and. And every time, every time I, I'm down, I, I feel like uh, 
I feel like I'm in a long episode, and I I use I always uh hear your voice, and I think uh it is a, a gift from God, and I'm so thankful to know you, and you you make us uh, hopeful in reaching out uh Muslims, you know, even though we we cannot find anyone who believed yet. Yeah, thank you so much. Well, my dear sister, I'm happy that you are doing great and you are learning and you're getting benefit of our program. And we pray that the Lord, he heal you from any illness and you will be better and better. So you live in China or like if you like to say, are you, are you Chinese? Yeah, I'm Chinese and I live in Indonesia. All right. OK, well, I'm uh, yeah. you know, I'm happy that you are learning and we pray that the Lord will use you uh, in a good way uh, to save more people and to heal you, too. And we ask all the people here to pray to our sister, uh, to pray for her to be healed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know what is the name of the diagnosis you said. I'm not a doctor, as you know, like I'm, I'm a doctor only in Islam. So I don't know really much about about the name you mentioned. But whatever it is, we pray that the Lord will save you and heal you and keep you safe. All right. Yes, yes. Thank you, Christian Prince. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, sister. God bless. Um, if this is of CP official Skype, yes. Uh, okay, look like we don't have more. Let's see, do you have one here? Okay, can you call me? We will call you, no problem. It says and available be sure be sure when you ask me to call you like maybe you should add me first uh, I don't know why you are saying to me can you call me and then call the client doesn't make sense um, well it was a it was a great to hear some Christians and we can take take more calls uh, I, actually I think I like this idea people calling Christians and see how much they learn and, uh, uh, you know, like uh, we share together our experience with this cult and how we can together, we can save the Muslims from their false prophet. You cannot call me. You have to take my call. When I call you, I call you. You cannot call me. So let me call you again. Let us see. We are calling. Hello? Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, but I uh, never spoke uh, with Skype. No problem. Um, so, um, yes, what is wrong about Islam? Uh, sorry for my English. I don't speak uh, a very long time English. All right. So, uh, my friends uh, at work, um, Muslim friends, dear Muslim friends, uh, they told me so much about the Islam, um, how great this religion is and uh, how beautiful the teaching of Muhammad is. And uh, so I begin um, to look what they are saying, to try and to, uh, to, uh, to find uh, the verses they are talking to me. So for three or four years, I uh, saw your videos the first time. And uh, I listen to you, and uh, yes, uh, I uh, prove all what you say. I buy a book, and uh, now I know that uh, this is a uh, satanic teaching, uh, Islam. And um, one of the greatest reasons, uh, uh, because it's satanic, is um, like, for example, how a child will born or be created. A woman had, uh, have sperm, uh, and so on. Uh, and um, it, as I hear it uh, the first time, and I uh, begin to to uh, search the uh, internet for the uh, Quran and um, uh, the Tafsirs, I I learned every uh, thing that I um, uh, to to read it. Uh, so I uh, was very shocked. And uh, when you uh, are talking with uh, Muslims about the problems, or Aisha, at, uh, she was nine years old. They, they won't uh, believe that. 
because uh, I think the most of them are scared. They, they are uh, scared for the truth. Like the Bible said, they have um, fear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. And um, yes, it's uh, thank you very much for your work. You save many lives. I believe uh, from the Muslims, uh, this is um, yeah that you expose, uh, explain the Quran. Well, we are doing our best, and I'm happy that people around the world they are listening. As you see, people from Indonesia, from China, from everywhere they are learning, and this is what we are here for. And you know, the, when we say satanic, uh, the Lord He says that who is the father of all, all lies? The answer is Satan. So when Muhammad, he speak about how the baby is created, and then we find that this is false. The baby is not created as Muhammad he claimed. Obviously, this lie is coming from Satan. The same as about lying about Jesus, and even lying about the Holy Spirit, claiming that the Holy Spirit is an angel. So thank you, my friend. Yes. God bless you, and thanks you for calling. Uh, what, uh, yeah? Can I uh, say something? Okay, sure. Um, uh, uh, I know that, uh, um, because I hear a lot of stuff from you, and uh, I study the Bible, and uh, there are so many things that Muhammad uh, steal from the Bible. Yeah, exactly. Like, he did. Actually, uh, everything he have is a is a theft from somebody. Even the, even the yeah. even the stupid stories is a theft from somebody. Yes. You know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, uh, I speak German and I speak um, uh, uh, Serbian, Croatian, and Bosnian. Okay. And. Um, uh, the most I read uh, the Bible, the study the Bible in German. So we have here two different uh, styles of the translations because um, there are the old scriptures and there are the new scriptures, which is called from Nestle and Allen. They uh, made a new book, but uh, these translations are not um, so good as the, uh, um, I don't know how it means, uh, Many scriptures, the, the, the first scriptures that, uh, that come uh, are the better translations. So, okay. and when we read in um, John 2, the, the letter of John 2, it says in uh, verse 10, um, if anyone comes to you and does not teach this lesson, do not take him into your house and do not greet him. For whoever greets him, shares in his evil works so and this is uh and muhammad take this verse i think and say uh, push him on the other side he wanted to do it better yeah. you know and in the king james bible uh i don't read this uh, exactly a uh, translation like in the german uh, bible yeah so and, th and i think muhammad take it and say eh, one moment i will make it uh, more better uh, so push them in the other side. Well, there is tons of. Uh, there is a book. It's called uh, a priest and uh, uh, and the, and the prophet, and it's mm. written by a Christian. Uh, it's a, it it has a very uh, good detailed studies about how many things Muhammad he stole from the Old Testament and from the New Testament. Yeah, and exposing. I think you can get it even online. You know, if you if you are interested yeah. in this uh, in this thing, but for sure. Like yeah. even even when Muhammad he speak about uh, gambling and uh, uh, pork, this is copy from what Paul said about gambling and the pork. This is copy even yeah. even almost word by word. So yeah. uh, uh, everything in Islam is a theft from somebody. But the the difference yeah. is that Islam is not the same as any uh, cult who is trying to uh, to hijack Christianity like Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, Islam yeah. is a is a collection of many religion, not only Christianity. Christianity, Judaism, yeah. some from the Hindus, some from the Majus, the, the, the fire worshippers, the star worshippers, whoever in the area, Muhammad, he encountered or he heard about them, he put it added to his book. As an example, the story of Al Khudr, the, the man yeah. who, Mr. Green, the one who drank from the water of life, and because he drank yeah. from that yeah. water, but this is a story taken from the book of Gilgamesh, you know, from the old uh, ancient, yeah. ancient legion about a guy, a king, he look uh, for uh, uh, for a fountain and he went, went all the way to Bahrain. Exactly, as in the yeah, Quran. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then Muhammad, he make it yeah. as part of his God teaching. Uh, 
same as yes. the, same as the seven sleepers, etc. You know, so any yeah, story, yeah. any story. Uh, uh, Qurnayn as an example, Alexander the Great. Any story is famous. Muhammad he yes. put it in the Quran and he make it from his God, and this is a clear proof actually that he is nothing but a fraud. Yeah. All right, my friend. Yes. Thank you for calling. God bless you. Yes. Uh, God bless you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, are you live now on YouTube? Yeah. I have many questions. Can you please call? Okay. I hope you guys you enjoy having more calls from Christians. Hello? 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 Yes, my friend, you are live on here. Hi, can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. You just... Uh... Your voice is cutting off. If you are using too many applications, you should then not. Yeah. No, it's, our internet is just very bad at the moment. We've got a. a well, I told you, story. don't use Allah internet. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't help the storm that's on the way. Okay. So, what do you want to say to us, my friend? Well, uh, CP, I deal with Muslims quite a. Twice a month, in fact. And um, first of all, I want to say uh, God for 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 your for your existence because um, I've learned so much from you, and um, I bring up these issues that you have with with Islam, with with, with the Muslims that I meet with. Um, but they always come with things like, oh, anything that happens happens by the will of Allah. Um, exactly, including me. So I, it, I am now I am now life in Allah. People. I am now life because of the will of Allah. Making Allah look like a stupid. I mean this is this is how 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 the will of Allah works. This is the most stupid will ever. So Allah he made Christian Prince go alive, go to his computer and he start typing. Yes he's, it's uh, the fingers of Christian Prince is typing, but it was Allah will. And then Christian Prince he go online. It was Allah will. And then Christian Prince he speak. It was Allah will. And then Christian Prince he debate Muslims. It was Allah will. And then Christian Prince he make Muslim leave Islam. It was Allah will. And then Allah will punish those who left Islam because it's his will. Have you ever heard of a stupid will like this? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Well, I can't be the will the living God. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you for calling. Your your voice is not really too good for me. I can't give you for long, but thank you for calling. All right. Uh, thank you, CP. Take care. All right. More people. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Yes, my friend, go ahead. You're live on air. Hello. I hear you. All right. Yeah, I'm David. Yeah, I'm David. Um, I live in UK, but I'm from Nigeria. All right, David. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I want to say is that um, I just want to implore all the Christians to uh, to learn their their faith very well, and also to learn a lot from um, mostly from Arabic speaker like you. Because um, when I was younger, I, like the other Nigerian that's talked the other time, we normally have, uh, in our primary school and secondary school, we normally have a mixture of uh, prayer during the assembly and other stuff. So I used to like, why we Christians, we can talk to God in our, our languages that Muslims can uh, my 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 brother my my brother I, apolo I apologize from you I apologize from you okay 
my friend, we cannot hear you. Your voice is really cutting badly. So oh. try, try to fix your internet and maybe we can call you again. It's very, very bad internet. Okay, but well, I have to hang up on him. Uh, if you hear me, David, please fix your internet so we can hear you because we understand nothing. Uh, let us hear another uh, uh, person. And I see uh, we have a great number of African brothers calling. That's wonderful. Let us see. Hello? Please mute your microphone, mute your YouTube. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are is live that, on air. Is that, is that Christian Prince? Yes, my friend. Oh, Christian Prince, how are you? I'm very, very good, thank God. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that you, are, you, you pick up my phone. I'm here in an Uber taxi. Where? I'm in an Uber taxi. Uber taxi, I'm oh, okay. I'm in, I'm in an Uber taxi. I'm telling my friends here that Allah is, he made this world by the word. He made the word by the word? The word. Yeah, he spoke the word and he made this world. Okay. Where, where is that? I'm telling you that because that's what uh, the Quran says. No, but the Quran says, uh, he said about the word, he used it only when he created Adam, he said to him, and it was. But when Allah created the word, it took him two days uh, to create the earth, and then four days to create whatever in the top of the earth, and then two days to create the sky. Total of eight days. In different verses, it's six days. So he did not, okay. say, any, uh, he did not say a word to create the earth and the heaven, no. But the Quran mentioned that uh, the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam. He said to him, be, and he was. But in reality, if you check, you will find that even that is true because Adam was created from mud by the both hands of Allah. And then Allah, after he fashioned him, after mixing the mud and fashioned him like a statues, then he breathed into him and then Adam became existence, which means even the word there is not true. And this is a contradiction for the Quran because Allah, he never used that word to create anything. Okay, now I'm asking you now another question. Okay. Is... Um, because I'm in the Uber Uber taxi here, and my my friends, I'm I'm with my friends. Our driver, our driver here is uh, is from Pakistan, and I'm telling my friends okay. that that uh, uh, Isa never spoke uh, Arabic. He spoke Arabic. Who said that? He he said that. Can you speak? Yes, this one said, can you speak? I said that. Uh, was asking. Yeah. We are just wasting our time. Not to go. No, no, that's, it's a question we're asking no, here. I said that. No, no. I have no one who said, yeah, Isa was speaking Aramic. Uh -huh. Is that true? Do hey, you agree? Isa was I, speaking Aramic. Aramic. Oh, okay. you hear that? Yeah, okay. but, but well, we're, we're Isa, uh, okay, first, Arabic. first of all, first of all, first, first of all, not Arabic, not Arabic. But Jesus speaks all languages in the world because he's God. So he speaks many no, but languages. Arabic. Have you heard that? He's, he's, uh, he's, he's, have, he's, you he's, have you heard? Heard, heard, what? No, heard what? Heard what? Have you heard that? Have you heard that? What is the okay. What is the question exactly? I don't know that question. Uh, yeah. You've answered it. Thank you very much. Jesus is speaking Hello? Aramaic. Jesus is speaking Hebrew. Jesus, oh, listen, 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 Muhammad, listen, listen. Jesus, he speaks all languages for his God. And your God, and your God, Allah, he speaks only one language because he is not God. So can you explain to me why Jesus speaks all those languages? He speaks Aramaic. He speaks Hebrew. And there's a, a, any language you want, he speaks it. Even his disciple, I can show you from the Islamic book, even his disciples, God made them have all languages in the world. So oh, okay. how that can happen to the Christians only, not to the disciple of Muhammad? Don't play with God, you are drunk. No, no, I'm not drunk, man. You are not drunk. The one who was okay. drunk, by the way, yeah, if, you want, if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about drunk, hold on, hold on. If you want to talk about drunk, you're a prophet and his wife, Khadija, they made her father drunk in order to get married. You want me to show you? CP, I'll call you back. <laughs> 
I'll call you back. Sipping. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll call you back. You know what? That was the. Uh, I'll explain later, man. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'll explain later. Yeah, but uh, before before you go, before you go, when somebody mm -hmm. asks you about what language Jesus speaks, Jesus, he is God, he no, speaks I, all languages. <laughs> this is why we pray to him in any language. <laughs> how you pray to him? How you pray to him? You pray in your language, Nigerian, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. CP. CP, don't worry. I know that is that is what I should have. That is what I should have. Uh, yeah, but what uh, before friend, you go? Before before you go, what was the to, challenge? To what he was the driver of the Uber? Yeah, don't but worry. what was what was the, what was he uh, he asking you for? Well, I did not understand anything now. What he was saying? He was saying no, no, that no, Jesus no. speak Arabic. Yeah, the guy was saying like oh, the, just speaks a lot of Arabic. He didn't speak Arabic. No, Jesus, blah, blah, and I blah. answer, I say, Jesus, I speak know. Aramaic. Listen, I answer, I say, Jesus, speak Aramaic. And same okay. time, in the same time, this ah. guy, I want you to, before you go, hold on. Before you go, tell, yeah, him, yeah. tell him this, you know, anyone who come mm -hmm. to you with this topic. The stupid Quran mm -hmm. says, we never send a messenger except to speak in the tongue of his people. So, yeah, if yeah. Jesus is spoke... Actually, stop there. Let, let, what, what, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Let me go. Let me walk there. This guy is is from Pakistan. Let me walk yeah, there. let us get him busted. Let me walk. Let me walk. He's back there. Let me just talk to him. Hmm. Just walk. It. I'm running now. One second. Take your time. <laughs> oh, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't get upset. <laughs> Maybe you can put him in the phone so like, oh, we can bro. have a conversation. Bro, uh, this guy wants to talk to you. Remember the one we were talking on the on the on the Okami? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's there. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I'm good, yourself. So I yeah, am fine. So you are saying that Jesus he speak Arabic? <laughs> yeah, that's I no no no, that's what I didn't say. These guys was talking about that. What what they were talking? What what do you think about Jesus? What he speak? No, I'm not really sure, bro. I'm Muslim, so I'm not really sure. Okay, I, I, I want to ask you, you are from Pakistan? I'm from Pakistan, yeah. Okay, in the Quran, in chapter 14, verse number 4, it says, We send not a messenger except with the with the language of his people. So Allah, he put two conditions. He have to be from the people and speak in their tongue. Do Muhammad speak your tongue? No, I speak Urdu. But yeah, but Allah, the, but, but Muhammad, Muhammad speak Arabic. Exactly. So uh, the Quran confirmed that means that Muhammad is not cannot be your prophet because Allah never sent a messenger except, and you can check the verse right now if you want. And if I'm maybe I'm lying to you, chapter fourteen, verse number four, it says, "We send not a messenger except with the language of his people, in order that they might understand, make it clear to them." So you are a Pakistani, Muhammad is an Arab. Yeah. How he can be a prophet for you, this will be a contradiction for the Quran, because the Quran confirmed, never, never sent, and this is, a, this is a gift given to Muhammad from Allah in his time, not after Muhammad's death or before. So this is Muhammad speaking, saying, Allah never sent any messenger, except in the tongue of his own people, which means he have to be from the people, and he have to be speaking their tongue. So in order for Muhammad to be a prophet for you, and you are from Pakistan, he have to be from Pakistan or India, and he have to be a person from your ethnic too, speaking your tongue. And Muhammad is not both. So Muhammad is a fraud based on this verse. What do you think? <clears throat> Muhammad is fraud. Yes, because this verse saying that, not me. The Quran saying, <laughs> if Muhammad, no, no, listen, understand. my friend, I'm giving you a verse. I'm giving you a verse, right? I'm not making my own. Uh, want... what's, what's your name? What's your name again? He Ch wants to know your name. Christian Prince. He's priest. Christian Prince says Christian Prince is on he YouTube. Is Christian Prince, but I don't yeah. know. Bro, I can I can give you his he's his... saying Muhammad is fraud. Why he's oh, uh, he's asking why why you're saying Muhammad is fraud. The Quran says that the Quran said the Quran said in chapter 14, verse number four, Allah will never send the messenger unless he is from the people, speaking the tongue of the people. So how Muhammad can be a messenger for Pakistan if he don't belong to Pakistan, he is not from the people, he don't speak the tongue of the people. The Quran said that, not me. So the Quran confirmed anyone come to you, he don't speak your tongue, and he is not from the same ethnic, he is not a messenger sent by me. Okay. Quran says so, not me. Is he a wrong guy? Yeah. Can he, can he, can he answer that? Can he answer it? On the go. Your name is, he said is Christian Prince, he said they can't talk to you anymore. 
You cannot talk to me anymore? Like, Who care? But we got him busted. Tell him what. Or tell him what. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's, he's work, he said he's working. He's what? He said he's working. His head is working? He's, he said he's working now. He's going to work. But a second ago, he was working when he was debating you. So now what? Uh, anyway, okay, no problem. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> I was not debating, man. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I all said right. he wasn't debating, but I was. Well, talking. he can call I, me anytime. We are live on air. Christian Prince, he can go to Skype, search for Debate TV, and he can join us. And he can call me. And I'm, I will be happy to hear from him. No problem. All right? You hear? Yeah. If you get time, just call him, man. Eh? Okay, man. Thanks. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you, see how, you see how easy to get this region busted? Those people, they have no idea what they are believing in. In the speed of light, you are talking to me. We have all your laundry here. We never send a messenger except with the language of his people. You see the word his people? This is not my uh, creation. This is not my words. So he have to be from the people, as you see. And he have to speak the language of his people, which is normal. I mean, he's faced from the people. He speaks the language of the people, right? And why? In order to make it clear for them. Makes sense. The first verse in the Quran ever makes sense. And that explains why the disciple of Jesus, they spoke on, on tongues. And they went and they, not only in Hebrew. I mean, imagine you go, you speak to someone who live in Greece in Hebrew. That is the speech of the deaf. Yeah, nobody understands Hebrew. And when the Muslims today, they cannot even get out of the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Arabism, you know, because the Muslims, they are became the slaves of the Arab. They control them. They control their culture. They control, that's it. Islam is not only a religion. Islam take over everything, and that is the Arab thing. But the Quran is so clear, and the Quran can defeat Muhammad so easy. And now the guy is working. What you can do about it? Allah gave him a call. Always when you put them in the corner, Gabriel appear. Uh, <clears throat> is that CP Life on YouTube? I mean, what do you think, my friend? I'm talking. Don't you know my voice? Uh, Okay, we have a Muslim. Uh, so I don't know if I'm a Muslim or not. Maybe not. Let's see. <clears throat> Hello? 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 Yes, ma yes, my friend, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? <clears throat> How are you? I'm fine, as you see. Doing great. Thanks to Jesus. Yeah, I, yeah. It's very good. But me, I have a question that I want to, to, to ask. Okay. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm a Christian. Of course, I'm a Christian. Okay. I'm not a Muslim. All right. I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I have a question that I want to ask. Because I want to know if in the Quran it is said that uh, Adam has a wife named uh, Eve, I, I want to know because I have uh, a question. In the, in the Quran, uh, uh, the, the story of Adam in the Quran is very blind story. Uh, it doesn't say anything really about Eve, but if you want to find about Eve, you will find it in the Hadith. Okay, because I have in in chapter 2, I think, it, uh, I mean, chapter Al Baqarah, verse 35. Okay. I have, uh, I, because they say that uh, Adam and his wife, but I want to know because I I have learned Arabic through you because of uh, YouTube. I, uh, I I have learned a little bit. I can read it. Yeah. Uh, it took me one day to start to read it. It took okay. me one day from the morning. I start before the evening, and I can even read. I'm not saying that I am fluent in reading, but I can read. I can know how to pronounce That's all of it. You see, uh, you see here, actually, there's something about uh, the question you mentioned. Muhammad always, as usual, he make poo, poo So what he said, he said, if not Eve, no, no woman betray her husband. So mm -hmm. Muslims, they claim that they don't believe in the original sin. 
But in fact, when you hear this, you will see that Muhammad, obviously, he believe in the original sin. Because he is, that what, the, what the original sin? The original sin is the sin of Adam and Eve, not only Eve alone. So Muhammad first, he blamed Eve for everything, making her the evil. And uh, uh, in the same time, he make mm -hmm. the sin of Adam is because of Eve betrayal. She betray him. And that is actually a problem for Islam. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that a prophet, the wives of the prophet, the, uh, or, or, or even good men, uh, Allah, he will marry only bad women to bad uh, bad men and good women mm -hmm. to good uh, good men. So mm -hmm. if Eve was bad and prophet Adam, because remember Muslim, they believe Adam is a prophet, right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, if Adam was a prophet and, uh, and Eve was a bad woman, that's mean Muhammad is again making poo-poo because how she is a wife and she is bad for a person mm -hmm. who is a prophet when Allah, he promised that this is impossible for Allah will make, it's a destiny. The bad women will marry yeah. bad, uh, bad men and the good women, yeah. they will marry good men. Okay, okay. But here, uh, as I say in chapter Al-Baqarah, uh, chapter 35, uh, yeah. I, 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 I cannot read it Arabic French, but he say, he say here, وَقُلْنَا يَا آدَمُ إِسْقُنْ أَنْتَ زَوْجَاكَ Okay, so now the word Zawjaka, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Now I want to know here, the word Zawjaka here, is it, uh, is it for male or it is for female? Because they said your wife... It can be. Wife, yeah, 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 usually, you know, Quran is using a language which usually we don't use. And the most time they will justify it. They will say, well, this is, can go for uh, uh, female too. Uh, but the important is, uh, uh, actually, even the Quran does not even say that Adam is a man. Where in the Quran says Adam is a man? Really? <laughs> yeah, where, 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 where it says where it says Adam is a man, you know? No, we are. You know? Yeah, it says it says Adam. It says yeah, you Adam, and this is what the Muslim translates Zawjaka, and that will make it supposed to look like a man. But Zawjaka or Zawjuka, mm -hmm. uh, it can mm -hmm. be uh, you know like uh, uh, for, used for both. Some Muslim they will say no, only for females. But even though. Still, we do not know who's Adam. Who's Adam? Do the Muslims even know who's Adam? There's no information. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, okay, okay, please. Uh, but in, uh, in the, I think, it's chapter 2, verse uh, like uh, in the verse where, where there is Arut and Marut. I think so. It was saying that uh, you and your wife, but they say it to Zawjika. So, I, so I, Zawjika, something like that. I don't know. That's why I am so confused. Because they say here, you and your wife. And there they say that the man and his wife. So if you really see with the grammatical, I, I, because I, I was advise listening. you, I yeah. advise you, I advise you not to focus on those things because there's more horrible things, more important than such a thing. As an example, when Allah, he created, you know, he created from everything in two pairs, two and two. So how Allah created to Adam and to Eve? Did Allah create to Adam and to Eve? No, it's only one Adam. Okay, but the Quran says, when Allah, he created, he created everything in two and two, okay? So yeah. uh, if, uh, uh, if there's two and two, that's mean Adam, there's two Adam and there's two Eve. Uh, this is a mistake too, because we cannot yeah. have two Adam and two Eve for yeah. God created so there is, Adam. There is, a, you know, uh, uh, there is a, a, a stupidity in the story. When Muhammad, he says, uh, here we go. Uh, if you read the translation, the Muslim they try to fix it. You know, every Muslim he tried mm -hmm. to fix the stupidity here, but the Arabic is so clear. When you say zawjain that's mean two, yeah, exactly. two pairs, two pairs. So mm -hmm. how Allah He created two Adam and two Eve, and then how He claim how the Muslim they claim that uh, we are the children of Adam and Eve. Look, this is a chapter uh, thirteen, verse number three. It says, and he made things in pair, two and two. That means there's two Adam and there's two Eve. Adam. Wow. That is way more important if uh, the wife, it's a wife or not wife, or it's a, you know, because here they destroy the whole story. For now we have multiple Adam and multiple wife, uh, multiple Eve. So we are from which Adam? <laughs> so, the first Adam or the second Adam? 
we are with the last with the last of Adam because if we have two, we'll will of those two we are from. <laughs> yeah, then Abraham really... and then Abraham will be from which Adam and Muhammad will be from which Adam, you know, and and what kind of and what kind of a language you see? This is even the Muslim translation, and because it's very stupid. Some Muslim they try to fix it with brackets, and some Muslim they put it as it is two and two. But everything yeah, and, created and two and two, so that's mean Allah He created two Adam, two Eve, two chicken. Two chicken, two chicken, two chicken. Okay, what the point? Two chicken, two chicken, two elephant, two elephant, two Eve, two Eve, two, uh, two, Eve, two Adam, two Adam, uh, two monkey, two monkey. Uh, so what the heck is that? So here you see the stupidity of the language, and Muhammad obviously made a mistake, and uh, it's hard to fix now. It's printed. <laughs> Yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right. But I'm very, I'm, I'm very thankful. But I, I have another uh, question, if you don't mind, because maybe some people are trying to call. All right. Yeah, because uh, I want to, to see in the chapter Al Fatiha even because I, I was, I was reading it. But the way I was reading it, I was going in deep. Okay. Why I say that? Because, yeah, because you always say that in the name of Allah, Bismillah al-Rahman rahim Alhamdulillah, yeah, 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 Bismillah al-Rahman, yeah. yeah. Al Al Rahim. Yeah. Okay. In the name of Allah, the 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 benefits and the merciful. Okay. Who is speaking here? If Allah is the one who, who is speaking, so Allah is speaking to who? Allah. Is, so it looks like we have Allah and someone greater than Allah who is speaking to Allah. I don't. I I, I think that maybe you understand yeah. me. Yeah. We, it, we spoke about this many times. As you see, it doesn't make sense because yeah. if the one is making the speech is Allah. It cannot be this way because in the name of Allah is something I say if I am speaking in his name but I am not the person so if I say yeah. if I say in the name of the president obviously I am not the president right we have a problem here but wait but uh, but we have problem because the Muslim said that we, we because the Muslim said that we believe in three gods but here it seemed that Allah here we see it seemed that uh, we have many gods because we have Allah and not only Allah we have La, as you say, and we have again the beneficent, which means Ar Rahman. For Ar Rahman, he is not God too. So we have many gods, and those three persons here, it looks like someone is speaking to them, and that yes. one is saying that. For sure, we don't that, have, first, we don't have three gods, we have one God. And if God cannot no, be one and the three in the same time, he cannot be God. But here, uh, you need to focus on one thing uh, mm -hmm. Muhammad is trying to build a religion. He saw the prayer of the Christians, our Father out of heaven. If you look carefully, you will see it's uh, uh, it's asking for forgiveness. It's a prayer. And Muhammad is creating a prayer to make it look like the prayer of uh, 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 which Jesus he gave to the, his disciple to pray. So look what happened here. In the name of Allah, the most merciful and most graceful. And then he says, praise be to Allah. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. In Arabic, actually, it doesn't say praise to be Allah. It says, Alhamdulillahi. Alhamdulillah means thanks to Allah. So how yeah. Allah he say Alhamdulillah uh, thanks to Allah? That's stupid. And then he repeat the same thing he just said. You know, he said the Another most thing. most gracious, most merciful. Obviously, this guy he have nothing to say. And then the master of the day of judgment. Okay, description no problem. And then he says, though thee do we worship. So if Allah if Allah is the one is talking, how he say such a thing? Obviously, this is a prayer. Yeah. This is this is can cannot be Allah speaking. It must be a prayer made by a man praying to Allah, right. saying, "We worship right. you. We seek your aid." And then he say, "Keep us on the right path." So who is the earth? Allah is speaking to, to this himself. Is a, by yeah, obviously, it's a prayer, as I told you. It's a prayer made by Muhammad uh, to his God, and, and this is why in the Mus'haf of Ibn Masoud, the Al Fatiha is not even considered part of it. There's no there's no Al Fatiha. Because it can't really be Allah talking. Because this is not. Because it really, was it was a prayer. It was a supplication of Muhammad. Okay. It's not. It's not. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I mean, the whole Quran is stupid, and there's more. But I use this chapter here to prove that the real name of Allah is La, not Allah. When we go on verse number two, Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alamin. Li La, Li mean to La is the name of the God. Simple. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I'm very, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy, and I really uh, think that uh, people will call because uh, it's very important. Even I am very sorry, but I am not going to talk too much. But uh, I just want to say that I thank for your studying that I was learning from YouTube. It helps me a lot because I was, I, I am now able to read a little bit, even though I am not fluent at it. But I can do my best. I can know what this thing means. I can copy it, paste it, 
and just go to Almani and just trying to understand the meaning of that. Yeah, language. if you it's are very important. If you are consistent, you will learn. You will learn, and you will speak the language. Don't worry. Just uh, keep reading, practice language about practice. All right. Thank you, my friend. God bless you. Take care. Good day. All right. Let's see if we have more people now. Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, like somebody asking me, so what this guy meant that Jesus speak Aramaic? So what? <laughs> That's funny. And actually, this is this is a defeat to the Quran because if Jesus speak Aramaic and the Muhammadan he agree, that means the Quran is a stupid book. For uh, uh, when the Muslim they say that Jesus is just a prophet, right? And then the Quran says we never send the messenger except speaking in the tongue of his people. And then we find that Jesus is speaking in the tongue of many. As an example, the name of the book of Jesus in the Quran is Injil, which is a Greek word. Right? So it's confirmed then that Jesus speaks many languages, that because he's God, or all languages. Not, not only he speaks many languages, he, he is not a messenger for sure. Why? Because the Quran confirmed that Allah never sent a messenger except to speak in the tongue of his own people. That's it. But in the case of Jesus, as you see in the Quran, the word Injil appear everywhere, and the word Injil is a Greek word. So if, uh, if Jesus spoke, according to the Quran, he spoke in Greek, not even Aramaic. And that makes Jesus a Greek person. Because the Quran says, Allah will send the messenger to the people from the people speaking the tongue of the people. Very shallow argument. And this is always support us. You know, uh, uh, how Jesus, the Muslim, they say, Jesus was sent only to the children of Israel. And even he said that in the Bible. But Jesus says, I have another uh, uh, sheep, another place, not only here. And he said to his disciples to go everywhere and teach and preach. So this is a false argument. But as you see, even the Quran confirmed that the name of the book is Injil. So obviously, Muhammad, he heard only of the Greek Bible name and he used it as a name of the book of Jesus and actually if we want to go more in details about this verse about Bilisani Qawmihi that there is more problems with this stupid verse because isn't it Moses and Aaron Allah he sent them to the Pharaoh And the Muslim, they say that Moses was only a messenger for uh, the children of Israel. So then the story in the Quran is a, is a fraud. The story in the Quran about Moses and Aaron, they went to the Pharaoh and they invite him to convert to Islam. This is how stupid the Quran is. You know? If you go here, As an example, chapter of Al Mu'minin, or Mu'minun, chapter number 23. Allah, He sent Moses and He sent Aaron, His brother, to the Pharaoh. But the Quran says Allah will never send a messenger except to the speak in the tongue, and He is from the people. Uh, was Moses? From the people of the Pharaoh, according to Islam, no. Was Aaron? No. Was Moses, according to Islam, sent only for Israel? Yes. So what Moses and Aaron doing here? If Allah only sent Moses to the Hebrew people. But as usual, the Quran is a very silly book. Uh, let us see if we have any... Any, uh, any more?
I am a Christian. Okay. Let us see this person here. Hello? 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 Hello, yes, I hear you. Okay, we lost. All right, I think we have uh, we have good uh, uh, number of callers for today. Uh, do you like it, guys? Do you like today, like what we did today? Should we do that uh, always, like maybe every Friday do that? If there's any Muslim who would like to call us and try his best to convince us that Islam is from the true God, Any Muslim? Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan would like would like to try his uh, luck with us? Maybe you can prove to us that Islam is from the true God. Anyone? The Quran is a book of contradiction, silly, teaching, fictions, superstition, you know. Like as an example. What is this verse or those verses? If we go here. We will find this. Read and love. This is God talking. Say, I seek refuge with the Lord of the dawn. Who is the Lord of the dawn? Continue. From the mischief of the created things. Okay. From the mischief of darkness as it's overpressed. By the way, this is the Muslim translation. We have a correction we will do it later. From the mischief of those practice secret arts. <laughs> now, I know like some people they believe in you know fictions and superstitions. This is your problem. But if we ask ourselves, who is the one who practice? Who is the first one who opened a school for secret arts, which is magic? The translation is false. It says an nafatha to fil those who blow on the knot. If you change the translator, you will see how translation, how the Quran changed. It's a miraculous way. A huge different by changing from see here we go it says from the evil of the witchcraft which they blow in the knot okay so according to Muhammadan they believe that there is somebody he can blow in the knot and he can control you then if we go to different verses in the Quran we will find that the first one who Allah oh sorry the first one who opened a school for witchcraft it was Allah so how the witchcraft is evil, and we ask Allah to protect us from the witchcraft, and the one who opened the school of witchcraft is Allah. Do you see the stupidity? Allah, he sent two angels to teach magic. One, his name is Harut, the other one, his name is Marut. And they opened a school of Harry Potter and the Babylon. And the Babylon, the reason he said that, because this is from fiction, from legend, that God, he sent two angels in the tower of the Babylon, and they open, those two angels, they open a school of magic, Harry Potter, and they come with their broom, maybe. And there's a woman, her name, uh, uh, Zahra. And we spoke about this before. This woman, Zahra, she was so beautiful, like, you know, she is more even beautiful than Nancy Balusi. So, when the two angels, they saw her, they got so horny and they wanted to have sex with her. And the reason they are having a body of a man, because they said to Allah, 
how you are going to send a man to inherit the earth and he will commit sin? So Allah, he said to them, if I give you the same I give him, which means body and temptation, you will do the same. They said no. So the angels, they chose two of them, the best of them, Harut and Marut. And Allah, he gave them everything the man have, which means sexuality, everything. And he sent them down to earth. And the same, the same second, they saw uh, Nancy and Lucy because she is so beautiful. Right away, they fell in love and they want to have sex with her. And then she told them, if you want to have sex with me, you have to do the following things. Story, you know, uh, to drink wine. First they refuse, but they, when they are horny, so they said we agree. Then they said you have to bow down to my God. First they refuse, and then they agree. And then she told them you have to kill a boy. First they refuse, and then they agree. Then when they went inside the tent to boom boom, a man he is a beggar. He up, up, he went in the tent and he told them, "Oh, I saw what you are doing. I'm going to tell everybody." They went after and they killed him. So the story is very funny. It's very you know, and then. Those two angels, they told uh, uh, Zahra, which is Venus, by the way, and even the Muslim, they agree, this is Venus. They gave her the password because she wanted the password to go to heaven. They gave her the password to go to heaven. Allah, he found out before she arrived all the way to heaven that she got the password. So Allah, he cursed her and he made her a star. You believe it or not, this is Islamic books teaching. And I changed any Muslim to say, I'm lying. So how, how making black magic is evil and Allah, he sent two angels to teach black magic. That's me, Allah is evil. And as you see, Venus is part of the mythology of Allah. Allah, he cursed Venus and he made her a star. And actually I can, let me find you the reference so you don't say, um, man, this guy is making things up. Where he get this from? Give me a minute. Let's see. I tried to find it in English. Uh, here we go. Let me post the link for you. And this is a Muslim website. Okay. So you do not, you know, take it from me. Take it from them. Give me a second here. I will post the link for you guys so you can save it in your reference. And please save it. Don't send me email later. Don't send me email later saying to me where we can find this reference. I will not answer you. I have thousands of people emailing me and I'm trying my best. Uh, you know, I, I go live. This is where you have me. When I go, I cannot answer email because that is a waste of time. Here I make an answer. Everybody get the benefit. In email, I make an answer. It will take me half hour to write it. And you only get an, you know, and then maybe even you dump it. You don't even continue reading it. The account of Harut and Marut. This is alislam.org. This is not a Christian website. And here you will see all the story you want to hear, which I told you. And they have different account of it, which means different, uh, like, you know, details, uh, many details in each story. And you will see how this angel, uh, this woman, who is very beautiful and very sexy, and you know it. Um, she wanted them to commit sin, and she wanted them to worship, uh, you know, her idols. Um, and they are horny, they want to have sex with her. And you, I hope you understand the situation. Uh, imagine yourself, you're an angel, and now you have a penis, and you are horny. Uh, what you would do? Yeah, you would have sex. And she's very pretty. I mean, she's not just like a normal person, you know. She is very, very pretty. I mean, come on. Just think about it. So here, uh, and, you, and the funny, the Muslims is giving you details like, uh, uh, Ayashi has reported from another chain, once the Amir al muminin blah, 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 blah. He gave a sermon and he speak about the angel Harut and Marut and etc. cetera. Uh, okay, and uh, you know, uh, Allah, he said to them, they said to him, and they, uh, they choose the best of their angels, so they send them down to the earth. And then when they arrive to the earth, a uh, uh, woman, she is so zigzy, you know, very zigzy. She approached them 
and uh, she made them commit sin and when they shook the, she took them to the tent to have boom boom i don't know why they don't do it outside uh the bigger he get uh, get in and the bigger get the bag the bag the beggar get killed for he was so in them and she asked him go and kill him before he expose us for what we were doing okay yeah and then they gave her the password and they did not even have sex with her like she lied to them she said give me the password first and then i will uh, take off the panty they gave her the password for allah the uh, sky because you know uh, there's password is it's allah is a high tech god high tech you know like you have like a slide card you know you put it there you know the door open and he you know she was able to go through so uh, i mean look at the look, look at the story and then you will find that even the muslims agree that this is venus you see it says here venus the angels fail in love with venus and desire to commit adultery with her well i am if i am there i will do the same i don't blame you angels i mean this is venus this is not Vivi. This is Venus herself. Imagine you are an angel. They are good looking, by the way. Angel. I mean, why this woman, she is even showing off on them? If they are angels, they are so good looking. They must be ugly asses, those angels. To the point this Venus, she don't want to sleep with them unless they do things to her. You know? So, uh, the angels fell in love with her. I see, you see guys fell in love it's not about sex it's in love both of them both of them they fell in love poor angel you're an angel have wings and you know and now you feel in love and you say to her please take off your panty i am in love you know okay so uh, uh they killed the man they drank a wine as she told them they killed the man as she told them and she wanted them to bow down to the idols, and 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 I did, and they did, and then they the the magician were learning magic from them, from those two angels. Do you see it? So how the other verse, the other chapter says that seek refuge from the evil of witchcraft, which is taught by Allah, <laughs> and then uh, that Allah. Uh, Metaphoros, metaphoros, that woman, that's the deep, that's that a long word for me. Uh, that woman into a star. So Allah transformed this woman, Venus, into a star. And now we know where the word Venus is coming from. Islam, my friend. Does any Muhammadan have anything to say? And those Kufar Christians, they say to you, Islam is not convincing. We have Venus. Do you have Venus? Hmm? I wish I can have Venus as an admin here. I mean, imagine if we have Venus here, admin, and she opened her camera. The Greek people will come. Uh, Trump, he will join. You know, he will replace his wife for sure. Uh, Nancy Pelosi will sure join us because she, she wished to look like her. Uh, Joe Biden, he will join us because you want to see how he used to be when he was young, have a lot of hair in his legs, as he, you know, he said. Uh, uh, Sing Jong Jin from China, the president, you know, he will join us. I mean, everybody will join. I will have the biggest YouTube channel if we can convince Venus to join the team. But I don't know how to contact her. I hope now that we will not get some girls calling themselves Venus and start texting me. And trust me, someday we'll do it. So, uh, look at the story. I mean, tons of stories. Uh, uh, Palestine, he says, this is, this is made up. But my friend, the verse in the front of you, it's made up. The Quran says, Allah, he sent Harut and Maru to teach magic. And he said to her, this is a made-up story, okay? This is not from the Quran. It's in the Quran. The Quran don't give us all the details, but the Quran confirm that Allah He sent two angels in the Babylon Tower and they open a school of Harry Potter. This is Quran. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? All right. Uh, I see many, uh, many texts. Uh, I don't know if we can take more polls.
Okay, I have some questions about Islam. I think we are done for today. Uh, it was it was fun talking to you guys, and I'm so glad that Christians are learning more and more. And I hope we will have more uh, young generation in the future. They can uh, take the Muslims into their challenge and prove them wrong. Uh, they expose the lies of Muhammad and uh, learn how to be tough on this cult. And tough mean to be bold, to say it as it is, not as they want, not politically correct. Being politically, politically correct is an illness, is a weakness. Is somebody he is hiding something he's been forced to say something so if you are a Christian say things as it is yes we love the Muslims but doesn't mean we will let the Muslim die and go to hell loving the Muslims is saving the Muslims is not the opposite So when somebody he says to you, uh, that you are being rude, this is not how a Christian should be speaking. A true Christian is the one who say things as it is, and that will make it truth for sure. We have Hussein. Hello? Yes, my friend, how are you, Hussein? Okay, I'm fine. So what do you want to say to us? Uh, I just came to your live stream right now. Okay. And uh, it said that it is about Christian discussion. So what's the topic? <laughs> Obviously, you just woke up, my friend. <laughs> you just woke up, didn't, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah I'm, I actually, yeah. I, think, I think I'm even... Um, yeah, so uh, maybe next time you can call me so you can join because we don't have really a topic. We are just uh, uh, giving the Christian chance to share their opinion about Islam and why oh, they okay. and okay. why they re why opinion. they reject Islam. I have an opinion, you know. All right. Uh, yesterday, I, I I was watching a lot of videos by Luke Koresh and a lot of apologists from the West. Can you speak so, louder? I don't understand what you are saying. Yeah, yesterday I was watching a bunch of videos by Nabil Qureshi okay. and uh, other apologists from the West. Uh -huh. So um, I was asking myself why the Muslims still believe in Allah if uh, they have an internet and an access to this information from the West and from the Christians. So. I don't know, maybe they are only brainwashed Ummah, and that's it. Well, you because, know, uh, uh, people believe in something until somebody show them that their belief is wrong, and this person, he will have the opportunity to explain it. And because in Islamic countries, who there? Who there? Nobody, you know? Um, yeah. So, yeah. so this is how Islam is established, and this is how Islam is still until now. And the appearance exists, but in reality, Nobody follow. All Muslim listen to music, but music is forbidden. All Muslim they drink. All Muslim they smoke. All Muslim they watch TV. All Muslims uh, 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 they go. Out. I mean, they they do everything against Islam. And even the Muslim sheikhs here, you know, they don't dare even to say what Islam is about. So uh, Islam is uh, is uh, as uh, Muhammad actually he is a false prophet, but he made a, tr a true prophecy in somehow that Islam start as a sm small came from the the, the the jar of a snake and Islam will go back as a small to the hole of a snake of a serpent this is the only truth about Islam and this is Islam too. today is dead not a single country in the world even Taliban they are not really practicing Sharia law nobody wants Sharia law yeah. why because Islam is why? dead okay yeah? you know maybe I, I think I believe that in uh, Middle Eastern countries there are a lot of secret atheists 
Well, there is for sure. If there is no, you know, like Ahmed Najat, he says in Iran, there is no gays. <laughs> in the whole country, there's no gays. That's it, because we kill them if you say they are. And then yeah. what they will do, they will hide. Anyway, my friend, you are the last caller. Thank you for calling. And Hussein, by the way, is an ex-Muslim, right? Hussein? Yeah. 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 He's an ex-Muslim and he From left Russia. Islam. He left Islam here in you know, life with us. Thank you, Hussein, for calling. God bless you. Thank you, bye, CP. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we had enough uh, to let Christians call because usually we take only calls from uh, Muslims. So if you like that idea, um, leave a comment. Uh, always your comment is appreciated because that even will bring more viewers to the video. And don't be lazy. I mean, we do, we give from our life, our part uh, is done. Do your part. As you see, even my voice really is tired. And uh, yet, because I promised to be here, I decided to come here. Uh, so uh, help us to get more people to see the truth and the truth will set them free we pray to the Lord to heal our sister the one who called us she said diagnosed with some illness we pray for all Muslims to see the truth and they will be guided and we pray for the Christians to be Christians because there's many of us are Christian by name and Christian by name all of us we commit sin all of us we are born uh, uh, with the nature of sin but it doesn't mean that we give up to our sin our sin should be fought we should fight our nature and this is the only way for salvation to be with the Christ is to work in a project and that project is working in yourself to be better tomorrow so always think about yourself how you are today and how you can be a better person tomorrow a better person is a person who love forgive and then he can ask for forgiveness. So if you commit sin, how you don't forgive to others, but yet you are asking God for forgiveness, why he will forgive you to you when you don't forgive to others? And this is the main point of Christ. This is why he taught them when he said to them how to pray our Father out of heaven. Forgiveness, my friend, will give in to you when you forgive, when you love, and when your heart is full of love, you are going to fight sin in a very strong way. The one who knows Jesus, he knows what is love. The one who knows Muhammad, he knows what is hate. We love the Muslims, we will not hate them, and we are here to save them. Thank you. God bless. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 